When visiting Nottingham Contemporary, I park on Robin Hood Street and walk into town. The walk is uninteresting until you reach the pastel painted houses of Promenade, situated on the northeast boundary of Victoria Park. What sort of hideous newspeak is in formal play? Continuing southwards is the 1869 built red brick William Bancroft building, a former mill on the corner of Redden Street, with a clock faced weather vane, the hand of which indicates wind direction via a gearing system connected to the wind catcher above it. Turning left onto Redden Street, leads to a series of short streets filled with interesting and lovely industrial buildings in various states of repair. Crossing Bath Street onto Gedling Street, we walk along the edge of the £6.8 million revamped Snenton Market Plaza to the avenues of Snenton Market. But what's this? Work on three of the five avenues has started as part of a £3.85 million redevelopment. A redevelopment that will result in Snenton Market becoming part of the cultural quarter. I used to love the seedy elegance of the avenues and will miss the edgy atmosphere, but I suppose that's progress. Opposing the avenues, on the corner of Gedling and Brook Streets, is a curved brick building with an intriguing banana relief on its apex. If, like me, you've pondered the origin of the banana relief, then ponder no more. The structure was built for the wholesale fruit business of F. Pearson & Sons. <laughs> 